Welcome to another SafeJS Apps podcast, this time around the third part of how to get software for SafeJS. And this time around, I want to show you how to get Android software for SafeJS. First of all, what I recommend you to do is installing the Aptoid App Store, which is available in the Yola Store, which is basically an Android App Store. And I think the Intex Aquafish provides already a variant of Aptoid App Store called only Store, I guess. Uh, basically, it should work the same with this one here. If you have this installed, just go into your launcher and launch the Aptoid App Store. And it basically looks like a Play Store if you have ever used Android. Uh, you have some featured applications in here, you have some new applications in here, and you have some games in here. You have different categories as well. You can swipe to the right to see your top applications. As you can see here, you can see a list of stores because the same way Open Repos works with repositories, this one works here with app stores. So you have the option to add different app stores by default only the Yola store should be available on the uh, Yola devices. Uh, you can add, for example, what I recommend to app is the App Store, or only called Apps, which has the largest amount of applications available, almost all applications that are all so available on the Play Store. And you have, if you want to compatible apps, uh, the Yola Store, of course, is very interesting. And the BB10 Store as well, because BlackBerry 10 also offers an Android compatibility layer, which is basically on par with that, what you can get from Yola itself in terms of Android runtime. So I have some other stores in here as well. You can click on store and, and, and add a store if you want to or go to the top stores and add them. Or you can just simply go to your search and search for something just like for example a search for benchmark. And then you have the option to just simply see a list of all the applications in your enabled stores. But it also gives you a nice little hint if there are some other applications in other stores for Aptoid which aren't enabled. So I have Antutu Benchmark in here, but if I scroll down the list, you can see here, uh, perhaps you find what you're searching for in other stores. And most of the time, if you don't have, if you only have the Yola store activated, this is the one thing that you will get most of the time if uh, it is not in the Yola store. So you can click on search on other stores. What I recommend you to do is first of all install an, an uh, Android um, web browser just like for example Firefox because it makes things a lot lot easier. So if you click on this you have an option to choose the browser and then choose the Android browser. In this case I will choose Firefox and it will go out and launch Firefox and then you have the option to just simply just simply download the application or see first of all a list of changes in here and if you want this application installed you can click on this it's a normal website as you can see here you can also go to Aptoid and search for stuff and if you click on install it will go back into the Aptoid store ask you to do you really want to add this store to your app stores you click on yes and then it will ask you do you really want to install this application from this store and you click on yes again and then you will have this application installed. There's no guarantee that this will run but it is at least a way on how to get software which isn't available in the default Yola store for Aptoid. Let me go back and back again. You can see also that Aptoid offers you updates for your Android applications on your SafeJS device. In this case I have several updates here for several applications as you can see. I can go to the download manager, see my download list. I can, as it, as it also stores all the APK files for those uh, applications, reinstall them just with one click if I want to. And this is basically the Aptoid App Store. Uh, it offers a lot, lot more, just like for example categories. Uh, you have the option to plan downloads for a specific, specific time and day, um, perhaps when your internet connection is a little bit faster or something like this. 
you have some uh, settings where you can go and uh, set various different th stuff, uh, just like for example notifications and so on. So this is basically the App Store, uh, the AppDroid App Store you can send some feedback. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one way to get Android applications. Uh, most of those applications are the same way, just like uh, our mixed applications because the same way, just like in the Play Store, you get proprietary apps, you get free software apps, and um, yeah, lots of games and so on. But it's not guaranteed that everything is working fine here on the, at least not if you just add the apps uh, store, for example, with the largest collection of apps. It's not guaranteed that everything will work because some things rely on the Google Play services and at least the Yola devices itself don't ship by default with the Google Play services enabled. This is one way to get Android applications. Another way to only get free software and open source applications is to installing the F-Droid store. You can also find the F-Droid store on the Yola store. Just search for F-Droid and it will show up and you can just install it. It's a free software, free and open source software uh, store for Android. And uh, after you've installed it, you can just simply open it. And this one will provide only free software. This means also that you will get software that almost all the time works wonderfully on the Savish OS compatibility Android layer because it does not rely on the Google Play services. In this case, you can see I have to refresh my uh, package list, otherwise I, will, I won't get here any uh, software in the category because uh, I refreshed it, I think, last time, six months ago or so. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, it's a little while ago that I refreshed the package list. Uh, what it will do by refreshing the package list is we'll get you a new, you can see popping it up, an app of new applications that are now available either as new versions or as um, uh, completely new added to Android. Just like for example a simple file manager uh, and some other applications. Basically all applications uh, that are a little bit um, unknown because they are new or are free software or open source projects that you might not have on the radar. You can see your, all your installed applications and uh, you have also the option to upgrade them. You can go, for example, to Firefox, start them, remove them, share them, or see if an update is available. In this case, there is no update available, so it's a used version. And uh, you can see also here on updates, uh, if you have some updates available. And of course, you can uh, search also by category, just like, for example, uh, multimedia and it will show you the newest multimedia applications available and you can then scroll through, click on one, click on install, it will automatically download and install it. Of course there are also some settings. If you go in here you have the option to enable package repositories. You can see by default only the F-Droid package repository is enabled but you have some other repositories uh, that you can enable as well or click the little plus sign if you have some other ones that you want to enable with an address. Uh, let's go back. Let's click in here. Let's go to settings. You have some interesting settings as well, just like for example notifications about uh, new updates and so on. You can set the language, you can set the theme and you can also show incompatible versions which somehow might be interesting for some running x86 applications. I want to see if an x86 uh, APK is available for uh, a specific platform. Normally you don't need it. And of course root, ignore root, uh, so it will by default re ignore applications that require root access because normally you don't have root access on the uh, Android compatibility layer on Selfish OS which makes sense in this case. So this is basically F-Droid, has some nice applications in there and uh, yeah, this is basically my overview on how to get software, Android software, that is almost compatible 100% with a Savish OS Android compatibility layer, Alien Dalvik. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and thanks for watching.